This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. The wheat stem sawfly is a major problem for wheat growers in the panhandle of Nebraska, which is why a team of researchers from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln is looking at the problem in its many dimensions. Cody Creech, Nebraska Extension Dryland Cropping Specialist, gives us an idea of what they are looking for in his case. Beyond wheat, uh, when we start looking at uh, the uh, residue that's left behind with the, uh, you know, the straw, um, what's the impact of the sawfly on that straw, on the soil water content, and on the following crop that might be, be coming behind wheat? Creech says there can be a problem if the residue is infested. That when we have straw that's infested with sawfly, we worry that the that that residue's been damaged in some way that it's going to speed up the the rate of degradation and and so we need that that straw residue to cover our soils to conserve soil moisture and when that residue is being lodged early or has been uh, degraded in some additional way by because of the saw fly we worry that that's that that straw residue won't stick around as long and as a result of that we're going to start to lose some soil moisture um, that could potentially reduce our corn yields and so uh, we have additional cages that are much larger than these here behind me where we will we'll be monitoring the soil moisture of uh, you know going into the following year and into uh, the corn uh, season to see if we can't detect any differences between infested and uninfested uh, sawfly uh, wheat residue. We've been talking with Cody Creech, Nebraska Extension Dryland Cropping Specialist, on his part in the new wheat stem sawfly research going on at the High Plains Ag Lab in Sydney. With KNEB.TV News, I'm Chabella Guzman.